this is a hybrid tutorial so today we're gonna see how to create a hybrid system so how can how this works here né? we have a open domain closed domain emitter splash this is a they are a secondary elements so the the easiest way to create is the closed domain he creates all the system and then we, you can easily manipulate this so then you have you can create it with the open and create a uh, emitter so this is okay so I prefer to use this closed domain so I wanna create and press this button and give it he opens the, this window and these dimensions uh, this is in the meters and type close or top close or top open you can choose both anyways um, water level this is the size of the water inside the, the domain okay so I will I will give this uh, default uh, and then press OK. So he creates this box, and this box you can just put in the transport mode. Okay. Um, if if I press uh, simulate, see what's gonna do. So he he fill the the first the domain uh, of water okay so uh, the system how this works we have uh, here uh, this is the closed domain water this is the box the he filled the box with the particles and you can of, of course you can change this in time you have the domain container this is um, the box the the the, the particles doesn't uh, they will stay inside in this box all right and you have the domain and the meter and the manipulator the manipulator you can bring from or you can bring it to any place inside the stage okay and you have the domain you have this option so for this tutorial you just focus in the cell size this is you can give more details right this for the particles and you have the, the adaptive creative mode this is more for your system um, how the system is gonna work so doesn't matter if you have a fast machine you can use dance right but for this uh, you keep it in, in this default you have the viscosity you can work as a viscosity so this is very sensitive so you can create the uh, put some values here doesn't don't don't uh, put uh, high values okay so you can create a viscosity simulation uh, for this I, I don't not gonna cover this areas so here you can create it textures for the surface um, this is gonna leave this here and for this vorticity boosters I uh, you leave this like so uh, are you gonna reset the simulation okay um, what I gonna do now if I change the the um, emitter and simulate it's not gonna work nothing right so he you fill the box but it's not moving because we don't have the 
any gravity here right so I'm gonna connect the gravity to the domain and now you're gonna start to see the domain works and uh, let's reset this right and now you're gonna see the particles moving and try to fill the container okay cool yeah, a little bit slow now okay so um, I will stop this for now if you wanna increase your particles you can go to domain and change this value so if you're gonna put one here see this this box here it becomes smaller so this is gives me more information more details right so I'm gonna leave it again three and for other stuffs for example, if I want to create another, um, I'm gonna create here. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna create a cylinder here, and want to emit from the cylinder. You can go, you can emit it here very easy, and uh, you can. Um, Select the meter here in the object. Select the cylinder. Okay, so he start. He gonna start emitting from the cylinder. But what he's doing? He's that. He just fill the the cylinder. And then there's not too much doing, right? So I'm gonna press. This string and yes so he start emitting you not stopping right okay cool so if I want to uh, emit in, in, and give some force I have to create this initial velocity and change it for constant or inherent so constant and give it some speed is I can put some value here like like 10 I'm gonna simulate oh so see see the arrow here he, he's he's telling to me where is the particles going so I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna simulate again nice so he's Start to emitting the particles here, and then you have some interaction with the domain. If see if I, I want to have some objects here inside the scene, I I can and create some objects to interact with the the hybrid, right? So I can create a torus here and connect to the domain and we will start to have some interaction here so if you want to create this emission and then after some time I want to stop the meeting what, what I need to do so this is the trick very very important for this lesson is this uh, I will create I'm gonna uh, select the, the meter here I'm gonna start to animate this so until frame 140 
um, speed is 10 and 150 is 0 so this is gonna create the emission is gonna uh, lose the power so lose the speed so he starts his emitting here and then the the force starts going down and to stop I need to animate the string as well so here in 149 the string is yes 150 is no and then I create this okay so nice I got now I'm gonna um, I will simulate this I will stop here I will stop here and I will come back when the simulation is finished okay so we back let's see what we have okay cool he does this kind of stuff nice okay so what we need to do now is create if you are happy with the, the simulation I think it is, looks good okay so for this tutorial this is the what I want to show okay so uh, I need just to create now the, the mesh so I wanna create this mesh here create this mesh here and I just go to the mesh tab Ibridu so you have the Ibridu mesh VB, VBD and Ibridu mesh this is the new one so you're gonna create this boom he's plugging on the domain and so we can see what he does so I'm gonna build this uh, this is too much so I need to to set this so you he creates out polygon size so you can uncheck this guy and then put some value here so if you wanna more details you wanna put 07 and let's see what we have built okay I think this is too low so let's put 9 build okay so I think it, I think it's better uh, let's 8 okay so what I need to do to have a, a better result so I can put some smooth smooth here in volume filters so I'm gonna put for interaction maybe let's see okay looks much better okay so let's see uh, now I'm gonna create the the particle the the mesh particle so I wanna create this here um build and now I'm gonna create with the command line I'm gonna check this and the command line you're gonna open this window and it starts create for me so I'm gonna stop the the video here and then back and finish nice it's finished here so let's see what we have okay so this is the the mesh you have it nice so now I have to create the the shader for this so how we can hinder this here in your flow so um, first I'm gonna I don't need to see the domain anymore I'm gonna put some let 
say uh, put water into the domain and here as well so we're gonna create uh, the shader I'm gonna put this shader put water here I'm gonna see the torus um, I'm gonna put red and this guy gonna create like a gray okay I'm gonna put one plane as a ground and I will give this color and here and hinder I'm gonna put the FGR here use the IBL and I will choose this FGR here I think I think this is okay okay and let's see what we have now I'm gonna press F6 or this button and he'll create some for me and you are waiting okay so he's doing this so to see better I'm gonna hide the domain first just to see the water and then I'm gonna set the handle here so time limit um, I think it, this is okay for seconds uh, sample level 12 here animation activate um, I'm gonna put a full FD so okay and here I'm gonna choose where I'm gonna gonna save so uh, we can put in any folder here for example here we can give um, create a new folder okay and handle and open save okay and now I'm just gonna press the handle to see what's gonna do okay so this is the tutorial for the beginning to work with hybrid I hope you like this I hope this is useful for you so if you have any questions if you have any any issues so please let me know so if you like it this tutorial please subscribe for my channel and you can help me to continue doing this tutorials okay so we're gonna uh, this is for today so let's see to the next one so see you bye